talk about the ignition system. If you're going to put a carburetor on a Coyote, what options do you have? You can use like an MS3 or um, a Big Stuff or something like that that's a, really a standalone EFI system. Uh, some of them will even run the cams and everything. So you could put the carburetor on, use that for the fuel side, and then use like an EFI setup to run the, uh, the, the coil and plugs. Um, advantage to that is you don't have to make any modifications, anything, uh, no harness modifications, no cams or anything like that. The drawback is the price. Obviously, you're going to spend probably about two grand to do that. I chose a Mod 6 because it's 500 bucks. Uh, it's very simple. It was very easy for me to modify it to work on this. I'm comfortable with MSD software, and I was comfortable with what I was doing. Um, I did have a fast XIM box. The fast XIM box has uh, one drawback. Um, it cannot do boost reference. I originally had bought the one they used on that carbureted Coyote uh, Cobra Jet deal in the magazine. I also bought the cam lockouts. Those are the ones from that West Tech used on that engine. Um, once I figured out that I couldn't do boost reference, I sold that and went with the Mod 6. Um, now, if you are going to use a Mod 6, Here's what you got to do to make it work. The first thing is, we're looking at the cams right now because this is the hardest part of it. You have to lock the cams out. You have no way to control the cams, the VCT, so you've got to lock it out. Now these are factory Ford truck cams. You can see the part number on there. Um, what I degreed these in at 110 and 116, and that was what comp cams recommended. The, the major modification comes on the cam gear. Uh, coyotes normally have this seven tooth cam gear on the back and a cam sensor on each cam to monitor the VCT. You're gonna run this like a regular 4.6 or a 5.4. So there is one tooth that's in the same location as a regular 5.4 or 4.6 cam gear. And that is actually this middle tooth right there and those three you need to cut all the rest of them off this is the passenger side exhaust cam so you're going to keep this middle one right here cut all the rest of them off and that's the, the major modification you have to make I actually did that with the cams in the engine just very very carefully uh, pulled the cam cover off and was extremely careful uh, when I did that now hang on for a minute we're going to go over and take a peek at that Mod 6. Okay, this is the Mod 6. It's mounted in the car. I didn't want to take it out. You can kind of see those pin locations up top, the big connector up there. That's what we're going to change to change the firing order. All right, here we are to the dry erase board. So, to make an MSD Mod 6 work for a Coyote, we need to change the firing order. It comes standard with a firing order for a 5446 four, modular, 13726, 548. We need to change it to, I'm running a Gen 1 Coyote, so I'm changing it to the Gen 1 Coyote firing order, 15486372. All right, it's actually pretty easy. All you're gonna do is you're gonna be swapping cylinders. We have to swap cylinders five and three, four and seven, two and eight. You're gonna take the pins, the wires that are in pin five, and pin one, it's a green wire and a light blue wire, you're gonna swap those. For four and seven, it's a brown and green wire at pin two and a pink wire at pin nine. You're just gonna swap these guys. And you're gonna do the same thing for cylinder two and eight, red and green wire at pin 23, and the violet blue wire at pin 10, swap those guys. You've now changed the firing order. It's that simple. Well, that's the easy part, that's the other easy one. You have one more you gotta do. So I'm back over to the car. All right, so the connectors that, that comes with, here's the map sensor that comes with the Mod 6. It comes with a two bar, which so far has been fine for me. I'll probably put a three bar on it now that I'm rebuilding the engine, but uh, this would be the cam sensor and then the crank sensor wire. They come pre-terminated. All these things are already on there. These are the same. These two will plug right into your Coyote cam sensor, passenger side exhaust, and the crank sensor, which is down in the back of the block. It's kind of a pain to get to, but not that big a deal. 
in the grand scheme of things. All right, so you have to change the connector for the coil on plug. Coyote has a different one. Four six and five four, two valves and four valves. They use the same connector for both of those engines. However, you have to swap the pinouts on these, and that direction, the directions for that are in the, direct, the uh, instruction kit that you get with the Mod 6. For the Coyote, you are gonna wire up the hot wire as if this were a four valve mod motor. So that means this purple wire, if you can see the purple wire, is your hot wire that goes to every single one of the coils. That is gonna be go on the positive side for as if this were a four valve, say like a Cobra motor or something like that. Other than that, I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really not once you get in there. Um, it was pretty easy. This thing fired up on the first hit. Um, the only trick that I found is uh, you don't want to spin the engine over and turn the ignition on. It doesn't seem to be able to pick up the, the uh, cam signal that way. So you always have to turn the ignition switch on and then spin it over. Most things are wired up that way anyway, but obviously this is more of a race car, so... Um, you do have the ability to spin the engine and flip it on. Some people like to do that. You don't want to do that on this. It, it doesn't seem to work well. Other than that, I've had no issues with ignition, no spark blowout, none of that. Software is very easy to use. It does not have individual cylinder timing. So on a Coyote, number eight is usually the hot cylinder. I've been tuning off a of number eight. The outside cylinders, eight and five and, and, and one and four, just pulling the plugs there, um, looking at those. Obviously, a carburetor, so my fuel distribution is going to be a little bit different than an EFI. So um, I've been watching the plugs really good. I've yet to hurt anything other than over revving it in the burnout and throwing a rod outside the block, which hopefully I won't do again. Um, and I'll get you guys updated on what I'm doing with the engine here probably next week. But um, that's about it.